Hey guys, check this out. These are some of the trophies that I've won these past two months. I'm very proud of them. The one I'm most proud of though is that one. Look at that, the Central Region Rimfire Finale, first place for the season. Anyways, enough of the flexing. Let's get to uh, the point why we're here today. I uh, wanna show you guys how to true your elevation data with a 22LR. I shot center fire for a while and the way that you chewed your velocity was from 500 to, to 800 yards on the center fire and then you chew your BC from 800 yards and beyond on the center fire. But with the 22, we're not shooting that far. But there's a lot of similarities uh, between center fire and 22. The only difference is the distance and of course the bullet and um, the, the size of the target. But we're gonna, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to chew your BC on a 22 and your velocity. Um, so this is my way of um, chewing it. There's other ways if you know, do what works for you, but this is what has worked for me really, really well uh, this past year. And my elevation has been pretty on point using this method. Um, you know, there's more than one way to skin a chicken. If your way of skinning a chicken is a lot better than mine, you know, stick with what you have. Uh, this is the way that I know how to do it, and this is the way that, that has worked for me. So if you like it, awesome. And if you have any feedbacks, then I'm willing to listen. Before we can chew our BC and velocity for our elevation, uh, we need to make sure that we have the correct bullet profile. So click on your Kestrel Link Ballistics app on your phone. Go to Gun Profile Management. And then afterwards, uh, hit the top right plus sign. Go to Select from Bullet Library. And Select the 224 diameter, which is the diameter for a 22 LR. And for this case, for this uh, profile, I'm using an SK rimfire. I'm using an SK long range match for mine. It's going to give you three options, a G1 BC, a G7, or the AB custom curve. For me, I like to use the G1 BC. The G1 resembles resembles the 22 LR bullet closely versus a G7 which is what you would see in a center fire it's got the boat tail design on the back I could also use the custom drag model or also which is also called AB custom curve and true by using the drop scale factor um, I think it's called Cal DSF, but I just like the G1 BC. Um, I like doing it manually and you're adjusting the BC manually. I guess I'm just old school like that. Um, this is my way of skinning my chicken. And if your way of skinning the chicken is better for you, you know, then stick with it. Uh, but this, this is just the way that I do it. Afterwards, um, double check your diameter. It's 224, the weight is 40 grains which is what we mostly use for PRS. Uh, as far as the ballistic coefficient, um, it will give you a default, but we're gonna chew it. So we'll get to that. We'll get to muzzle velocity, uh, zero range. I usually like to zero at 50 yards um, and use a range finder to make sure it's actually 50 yards. If it's not 50 yards, if it's like 52 yards, and that's what I put down on my Kestrel. Uh, my bore height is 2.50 your bore height is gonna be your uh, center of scope to center of your bore. And I usually just leave the zero height and the zero offset blank. I never really touch that. Um, and then the twist rate for mine is a 116. You can find your twist rate on your barrel. It should tell you where what the twist rate is over there. So before I forget, make sure that you also have the right target direction Let's say it's 219 degrees. Maybe the wind's coming uh, ideally 
you want it to be as less wind as possible, but let's say there's a little bit of wind from three to five miles an hour coming from the right. Um, temperature, maybe 78. So make sure you have your environmentals correct. So when I'm trying to find my velocity, I like to use this magneto speed. I have the V3 mounted in my barrel and it gives me my velocity. Or if you have a lab labrador or something to measure your velocity that way, uh, you can use these. If you don't have one of these or a labrador or something similar to measure your velocity, you can always chew your velocity by shooting at a target. So let's just pretend this target right here is 150 yards. I, look, I usually like to shoot a target that's, that's empty, that has fresh paint, and that has maybe a dot or, or a few dots. The point is that you have something small to aim at. Uh, this is my best replication of the Impact 3 reticle from Zero Compromise. This is not to scale. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna put that cross here right in the middle, right there. Let's say the box says 1041 or 1040. So I'm gonna put 1041 on my Kestrel. And it's telling me to dial 4.3. So I'm gonna dial 4.3. Uh, put the reticle right in the middle of that dot. And then I usually like to shoot five shots so that you can have the best data as possible. The more shots that you take, the better. Let's just pretend that it goes. The shots go right here, right here, right here, right here, and then right here. So, and um, we're just worried about the water line right now. So we're not worried about the wind. We're chewing our elevation. So it looks like I need to come down. This 0.2 mils and this 0.4, it looks like I need to come down. 0.4 mils. So what that means is if I'm high, I'm gonna need to increase my velocity. If I'm low, then I need to decrease the velocity. But since I'm high, I'm shooting high, I'm gonna need to increase my velocity until it lines up. So right now I'm at 4.9 and I should be at 3.9, I need to come down, 3.9. So I need to increase my velocity to 95. So, for, 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 so I need to come down from 4.3 to 3.9. And if I put my muzzle velocity at 1095, that should put me on target. So let's pretend I'm shooting another five shots. One goes over here, one goes here, one goes here, one goes here, and one goes here. Perfect, I'm in water line right now. Again, we're not worried about wind. So that tells me since I'm uh, on zero elevation right now, I'm on my, um, at least on my reticle, um, I'm dialed 3.9 on my turret. That should be the true velocity. Again, if it's shooting high, you need to increase your velocity. If it's shooting low, then you need to decrease your velocity. Now let's get to uh, chewing our BC. So now we're gonna get to uh, chewing our BC. I usually like to chew my BC past 200 yards. So we usually chew our muzzle velocity below 200 yards, but once you get out past 200 yards, then that's when you should chew your BC. Um, with PRS matches or NRL 2 or 22X, the average for this distance is usually around 300 yards. Sometimes you'll get the occasional 400, 500 yard targets, but 300 yards should be good enough. Um, the further out that you can go and chew your BC, usually the better, uh, but 300 yards should be plenty enough. Now let's say that Kestrel is giving us the default of 0.159 BC. Again, the muzzle velocity when we chewed it is 1095. Now we're gonna chew this BC right here, 
right now it's saying 0.159 it's telling me to dial at 300 yards 12.4 so I'm gonna dial 12.4 on my elevation and shoot a five shot group or a 10 shot group it's up to you you can do a 10 shot I get the more data the better but let's just pretend we don't have much ammo we need to conserve it and so we're gonna do five shot group say so one goes right here one goes right here another here another here and then another here so it looks like from our point of aim up here it looks like I need to come up about five tenths again each of these hash marks are two tenths two tenths four tenths five tenths looks like I need to come up about five tenths Go to our handy dandy little formula over here. If you're shooting high, you need to increase your VC. In this case, we're shooting low. So we're gonna need to decrease our VC until it lines up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to come up um, 0.5. So right now I'm at 12.41. I need to be at 12.9. So 12.91, close enough. Um, so my true BC should be at 0.139. So let's shoot another five shot group just to confirm that that's the right data for our BC. Now we're gonna shoot another five shot group. Let's say one goes here, one goes here, one goes here, one goes here, one goes here. I mean, that should be good enough. Um, so our VC should be true. Our velocity is at 10.95 and our VC is 0.139. So something that I've learned this past year shooting 22 is when you get past 325 or 350, you may have to reach your VC your BC that you have from 50 to 300 yards is gonna be usually the same BC, but once you get past like 325 or 350, you usually have to, um, or usually I had to uh, reach my BC. So I keep a, um, a copy on my phone or a hard copy of what that looks like. So for example, for my SK long range, from zero to 350 yards, I have the BC of 0 0.140. From 375 to 400 yards, it's 0.129. From 425 plus, it's 0.119. And 500 yards, I'm still not sure. Um, I think it's 0 0.105. Again, guys, this is my way of doing it. If you have a better way of doing it, you know, stick with what you have. Um, of course, I'm open to learning something new. I've tried the custom drag model profile before and used the, the Cal DSF um, function to chew my BC. I, I think I chewed it to like 400 yards, but it messed with my data at the lower ranges at 200 yards, like it wasn't lined up. So I kind of steered away from using that and just ended up using a G1BC. Um, that's what works for me. Um, and I just ended up changing up the BC depending on the distance I shoot. So again, you know, that's the way I do it. And I um, hope you guys learn something from it. And I'm always trying to learn something new.